<laughs> All right, I guess, uh, sure, yes, of course, I could have picked uh, a nicer day. You can hear that water. Anyway, uh, out with Pipa, do a little bit of, a little bit of leash walking for her and for you. If you have questions, throw them in the comments. Um, I guess I forgot to put the link, but you can check on the past previous posts about signing up for the waitlist. I want to talk about Bonjour Dana Frances. You've been consistently showing up, but a girl, it's here for Dana. We're gonna do some leash walking, the most common problems, but I'm not gonna just end there. I'm gonna show you how to fix these problems with pulling, <coughs> pull, <laughs> pulling me on the leash. So, I think problem number one starts with a lot of people get their dogs jacked up before they actually go out on their walk. So they go, do you want to go for a walk? Peepa, do you want to go for a walk? Do you? And they get all, they get the dog all jacked up and then the dog's just like zoom out the door. <laughs> so I like to spend the first couple of minutes on my lawn letting the dog pee, just chilling. Just know we're not going anywhere yet. Obviously, if you live in an apartment, you know, you just stay out front, let them pee, let them eliminate kind of thing, and then get to it. So here's one of the things I see people do a lot, which is they stop in order to get the dog to stop pulling. So it looks like it looks like this, and it's, it's a mistake. So you're walking with the dog, probably not backwards. So... I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put a giant piece of, I'm gonna put a giant, a giant piece of lung right here so you can see her pull back to you guys. Okay, so I'm gonna take this giant piece of lung and I'm gonna put that right there, okay? So, and she's just on a flat collar. So a lot of people will walk, the dog starts pulling and they stop and then the dog stops pulling, and then they stop. And then the dog starts pulling, and they stop. And the dog keeps pulling, 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 pulling. And then they, <laughs> and then they get the dog, they either stop or the dog, they get the dog to sit. 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 She said sit. Right, even if I had food, it doesn't stop. Sit, sit, good. So even if I feed her here, it doesn't stop the pulling over there, okay? So the trick is to not stop. Stopping doesn't help you move forward, okay? Having the right tool on the dog, if you're gonna use food to get past something, Hopefully, let me know if you can, I, I can see the thumbs up, so smash the thumbs up button if you can hear me okay. I'm trying to talk, uh, not being super conscious of uh, the rest. Smash the thumbs up button if you can hear me okay. All right, there's a couple of thumbs up there. If you're gonna use food, if you're gonna use treats to help with pulling, do it in a way that you don't actually pay the dog until you get past the distraction. So I have another piece of food here. Now your dog has to be super food motivated for this to work. I've got the leash here and I can also have it here as backup kind of thing. So I put my thumb through this one, then again, okay, to make a little handle. And then, so I keep that food right here. Boom, 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 boom. Till I get past. It's not super efficient but it keeps the dog's attention because that kind of leads me to problem number two, which is you give the dog the treat and then you go to walk by and the dog goes, screw that, okay, I'm gonna get both. I'm gonna pull to this <laughs> and I'm gonna pull to that and eventually they get, they get both, okay? Now, you guys know me, I'm a huge, wait for these cars to go by, huge proponent of using food but also a huge proponent of using treats. Obviously she can pull me like crazy 
with this tool on. Now when I clip onto the harness, it's the same same idea, but I actually want her to pull. Good girl, get it, get it, get it, get it, good girl. I actually want to teach her to pull more with the harness. So that's probably one of the biggest problems that I see people do is they, <clears throat> they, it's not one of the biggest problems. And honestly, if it's working for you, great. But when you stop and think about it, stopping doesn't help with movement. It gets the dog to stop for a second, calms down, and then, and then you move again, and then they're jacked up again. I don't know where, I don't know what dog trainer had like great success with that, that they were like, get your dog to stop to get them to move better while walking. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. The other thing is what I just did with the treats, which is, by the way, for everyone watching, pause, car, we'll do it like real Canadians, car, okay, game on, is road hockey, um, Wayne's World, <clears throat> and real life. So join the wait list, join on any of the other video, on any of the, um, any of the other videos, there's a link you'll see to join the wait list for the 2.0 version. This time around, this 2.0 version, I'm gonna have like 10 videos on leash walking including reactive dogs. Because I think if you can't walk your dog, if you can't walk your dog properly, that's step number one. You need to get that energy out. This dog's nuts without one day of walking. And she's like six years old. I couldn't imagine her as a little puppy nanny. Uh, okay, so if you're gonna feed your dog while walking, bait them till you get past. Really tease them and really keep that hand active watch watch what i do here okay so i'm gonna drop again i'm gonna create that big distraction for you guys there they are now she's on a harness okay this is this is problem number one is the tools you have on the dog there's no way i'm gonna successfully walk her because i can't control her head so for her and honestly i really don't want to have her on this harness because i want to teach her to pull me with the harness, I would have, if I was gonna use a slip leash, I would have it way, 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 way up. Up, 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 right up close around here. Now I can keep her head up. Any of the tools that goes on the dog's neck, you want them up, 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 okay? So now, physically, she can't with, with a little bit of pressure because of the positioning of this collar. She can't get, come on. She can't get that. Now I know I just said if you're using food to get past, but honestly, it wouldn't matter if you're using food because if you're using food and you have the wrong tools, you're only halfway there. Positive and negative, balance. If you're purely positive, you are only using one half of the equation of life, positive and negative. Right? So, and ultimately, if your dog will do all this without a leash and no negative reinforcement whatsoever, great, great. But for the 99.999% of the rest of you with dogs, your tools are the biggest part of your problem. Okay, so now I have both, okay? So now I have effective leash pressure and reward. Good. So, I have her here. Now, even if you have a bull mastiff, if you keep that hand on the right and you have to turn and you have an effective tool on the dog's neck, good girl. Now this could also be a gentle leader or a halty, works super, super well. Or I have a, a prong collar in my back pocket because normally I don't use a slip leash with her. So the distraction is right here again. For those of you just joining, Jump on the wait list for the 2.0 version because there's gonna be bonuses that are limited for the amount of people that are gonna be in because all the, I don't know if it's five or 700 people that are already in the course, they, um, they're they already getting the bonuses. So don't worry about that guys, if you already have the online program. Good girl. So it's a combination of both. So just to repeat, good girl, break, get those treats. So to repeat, stopping doesn't work very well. Feeding the dog before you pass by whatever that distraction is, whether it's another dog or, or whatever, doesn't work very well. 
lure your dog past them, bait them, keep that left hand really active, really engaged with them. Okay, that's it, that's all. If you got any questions, put them in the comments and then uh, jump on and jump on the, the wait list for the 2.0 version, which is coming soon. Okay, know what you're loved. Bye, meow.